So the research question in this paper are two. First, is asymmetric information pervasive in the effects market? And second, um, what is the economic value of asymmetric information? To address this question, we analyze a unique data set uh, provided by continuous linkage settlement, CLS, that operates uh, the largest multi-currency cash settlement system uh, worldwide and is representative for the global market. Why these questions are important? Well, first of all, the FX market is the largest market in worldwide, right? The second is an over-the-counter market and information is supposed to be dispersed and heterogeneous across agents, right? So we have uh, many currency pairs and we can observe hour by hour the order flows broken down by categories of economic agents, including banks, non-finance corporations, and so on. Right. In the first part of the paper, we look at them. Uh, we use the methodology of Joel Asbrook, enable us to identify permanent and temporary price impact. The main intuition is that the less the permanent price impact should convey superior information um, in the trading activity. So we found that uh, asymmetric information is deep rooted in the market in the sense that there is always some agent that have superior information. Second, uh, it changes across time and it's a cross-sectional difference uh, across FX rate. Right? Once we have established that, we ask ourselves, does uh, asymmetric information risk uh, demand a risk premium? So to do that, we propose a new asset pricing factor which takes long position in FX rate characterized by higher asymmetric information, shortening the, the ones with little information. And we found that it's significant in economic and statistical terms. So I'm looking forward to seeing you at the webinar.